to be here. Uh, you know, uh, during the uh, 40 years of the Cold War, uh, many of us, perhaps some of us here today, are old enough to remember living with the constant reminder that civilization might perish in a fiery hail of atoms. In 1989 and 1990, as the mayor mentioned, that Cold War ended. But most importantly, it ended peacefully. The Berlin Wall came down, the two Germanys were reunited as a member of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, and none of that could have happened, ladies and gentlemen, without first and foremost, the indomitable spirit of the people of East Germany and the other captive nations of Eastern and Central Europe. Because their undying desire and yearning for freedom would not, simply would not be indefinitely contained. But as an aside, and as the mayor told you, today is George H.W. Bush's 90th birthday. And uh, we all have no wish him an extraordinarily happy birthday. I called him this morning. And as a matter of fact, woke him up, <laughs> which was probably not a very good thing to do, but I'm one of the few people, I guess, around that can do that. <laughs> and I told him, I call him Hefe now, which of course is Spanish for chief. Whenever there's somebody else in the room, I call him Mr. President, but I call him Hefe. And I said, Hefe, I want to wish you a happy birthday. And I thought I ought to call you early, because I know you're going to take that parachute jump on your 90th <laughs> birthday. And I just wanted to be able to wish you a happy birthday before you hit the ground. <laughs> Let me say that nothing exemplifies uh, the end of the Cold War better than what was happening in East Germany in the lead up to the fall of that Berlin Wall. On October 9, 1989, exactly one month, just one month before the fall of the wall, and I really remember this vividly because I was in office as Secretary of State at the time. We had the largest impromptu demonstration ever witnessed in East Germany. And it took place in the city of Leipzig, our sister city, one of our sister cities. For years before that, the Nikolai Church had been holding peace prayers every Monday evening, attracting lots of people who were politically dissatisfied and unable to voice their concerns. But word had gotten out and some 70,000 people gathered on October 9th to protest against the ruling Socialist Unity Party. And the party was powerless to stop them. Every one of those protesters was holding a candle and holding it with both hands, a symbol of nonviolence. And of course, holding a candle with both hands meant that the protest would be nonviolent because they didn't have a hand with which to throw stones or anything else. But interestingly enough, the next week, they had another demonstration, 120,000 people showed up. And the week following that, get this, 320,000 demonstrators showed up. Their voices were heard throughout East Germany, but they were also heard in Berlin, and in Bonn, and in London, and in Moscow particularly, and in Paris and Washington. And as the mayor said, the world changed. The world that I had known uh, the, uh, for my entire adult life changed, and it changed fundamentally. And so I am very pleased that the Leipzig Orchestra is celebrating the 25th anniversary of this magical moment in history with what I am sure will be a magical performance here in our own city of Houston, uh, the sister city of Leipzig. Thank you very much.